I'm Loud and Styles. I do these videos so you watch them. And uh, yeah, I was looking at the TV because Monday Night Raw was supposed to be on soon. <laughs> God, I'm such a fucking wrestling whore. Anyway, this is my Q&A video. After getting my goal of 10 questions, I finally decided to answer all of you guys' questions. So, let's get started with the question answering now, shall we? First question is from 90210 Manga. And he writes, Sean Benjamin, what happened to him? Well, 90210 Manga, apparently you haven't really kept up in WWE stuff. Sean Benjamin has been released from WWE. Along with Mickey James, Kaylee Birchall, Kung Fu Nike, and someone else. If that's all of them, then yeah, that was all of them. But he's been released from WWE, which I still kind of believe that was a really poor decision to do. Because Sheldon Benjamin is such a great athlete, and he could have been a World Heavyweight Champion or a WWE Champion. Anytime. They should have pushed him to a championship or main event status. He was good enough to do that, but they didn't. So yeah, he's released from WWE. He's uh, wrestling independently somewhere. Hoping we see him on ROH. The next question comes from Maximum KOF, who is one of my subscribers, and he's also a good commentator. Check him out; he's really good. Um, he asks, "Is the name Loudon the name of a channel you have or used to have? And if not, what is it?" Okay, um, I never had a channel named Loudon Styles or any other like unique name that involves my the first name Loudon in there. Uh, or I never used to have a account like that. My actually my first account I ever made was called Brotherhood 09, and that and I basically closed that account down because I just hated the videos I made and I figured I'd try to start a new, you know what I mean? But the name actually comes from a wrestling personality that goes by the name of Loud Noxious, but in Shakar he goes by Gavin Loudspeaker. Um, I met him twice, he's a really cool guy, funny as hell, and we just spent half the time while he was like selling and playing his guitar at the, at the uh, anime convention. We were just talking about Chikara and all the kaiju shows that were coming up. I mean, he's a really cool dude. So, I call myself Loudon for that reason. Alright, the next question is from Kenny6676. And he asks, if you had to live in a house with Justin Bieber, what would you do to him? If you guys say probably kill him, that's too easy. I would whore him out to all of the 14, 13 year old shallow tweenagers out there and make a huge ass profit out of it. Oh wait, Usher and his agents already do that. Damn, they beat me. Next question. This is from Genotaku123. Do you like mudkips? No! I freaking hate mudkips. Just kidding. I like mudkips. They're really good. Seriously, did she really have to do that old ass joke? That joke died with DeviantArt's sense of humor. Okay, the next question is from GNR and STP911. Hey, Sketch! The fuck was that? Anyway, it reads, Have you ever ran a troll account? Nope. Haven't really, I haven't really done that. I'm not like tubers. I don't run troll accounts. Alright, and the next and the uh, next question, or I should I say questions? First of all, I want to thank you, Hodge, for reaching me to my goal of ten questions. I do. Hodge is in three one seven two. Everybody, he is a uh, really good video maker. Check him, check him out. He's good. On uh, he's good. Uh, he makes some very decent commentaries. Can you some work? Could you do some work on him? But hey, he's trying. He goes, I have several questions, actually. Who are your inspirations for video making? Hmm. That's an interesting-ass question. <laughs> um, I have 
to say Big Out 2K6, Darkness the Curse, when he was called Darkness the Curse, and Cyberwolf 087 or T4. They were my inspirations. Okay, number two. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Man, that's a long ass list. I I have so many favorites. But if I have to pick my favorite YouTuber, mmm, Dark Angel Light. Uh, who is the most epic fail lols cow you ever seen on the internet? Oh man, that is such an easy that is such an easy question. Chris Chan. Sorry, Chris Chan will always be the most epic fail lols cow on the internet due to the fact that he uses his high functioning autism as an excuse to be a, a very sick and twisted individual. He is a sick fuck beyond all standards, and he thinks that people are bullying him. When in fact, he's just a simple—he is just a simple-minded retard that should never have a computer, let alone a chance to have any privacy, because he basically put his life out there. He is by far the most epic lols cow I've ever seen on the internet. Out of all the fucking lols cows that I've seen on the internet, ever since I was third freaking teen. When I was 13, I was in the Sonic Voice War, and Spaz and Spax 3 was like raging about Griffith and suing people left and right because of his, they didn't like his opinion. But Chris Chan will always outdo every other fail lol cow because of the fact that he's Christian Weston fucking Chandler. Next question. When you reach a hundred thousand video views, would you apply for a YouTube partnership? Okay, first of all, that will never happen. <laughs> I mean, my videos are somewhat entertaining, but not entertaining enough where somebody's going to watch them un watch them until I get ten thousand video views. I have to do something completely effing retarded or funny in order for these videos to be good, or I have to talk about a certain topic that everybody else has probably talked about. Justin Bieber, anyone? Yes, I jumped the bandwagon just so I can get... Yes, I jumped bandwagons. Why? Because they're interesting things to do. But if I ever did get 10, 100,000 video views, I actually would get a YouTube partnership because college is kicking my ass and I need to pay off for some of this tuition. So yeah. I would do a YouTube partnership. Alright, his last question he actually wrote. He was like, sorry, I have one more. How did you come across YouTube? Okay. I just came back from a trip from racing with I just came back from a trip from Wisconsin to for my thirteenth birthday and I was on the internet. I was playing some games on Newgrounds with a friend when a friend of mine emailed me showing me this very funny video. I forget what the video it forget what the video was. It was probably the Jedi kid or the Tourette's guy. I can no, it was the Tourette's guy. Never mind. It was the Tourette's guy. And he shows me this video and I basically laugh my ass off. Damn near spit soda soda up and I'm just, you know, damn near kissing my pants with laughter and because of that I, I start looking at the other videos at the sidebar and I see that the see what this site was YouTube hmm very interesting site the next day I start going on the site I see all the videos I become hooked and the next thing you know I'm starting to make an account on YouTube now I was probably the smartest 13 year old because I basically didn't make any videos <laughs> but uh, the rest is history I'm here now, so there. All right. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you for you know actually sending your questions so I can answer them. Really awesome of you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. What I'll do, no one knows. This is Ron Styles. I'm over. I'm out, and I am. Gone.
God fucking damn it, you monkeys. Turn the thing off. <sighs> I fucking hate the people.